sort it out. and try to make them myself. You know, I've come to I've come to appreciate certain knives more than others in terms of how they're constructed. You really see then the value in that knife. Uh, for example, I would say a Strider knife. It's that those open hole uh, screws. You know, they're coated, they're open hole. That helps fight against uh, uh, rust and other issues. Uh, the solid G10 backspacer makes the knife more rigid. You know, really, it's it's a really that those features that make it so good. So when, for example, I bought my Chizula collaboration, that is what sold the knife. It wasn't to me, I mean, CPM 154 CM blade is ground, not a little bit complicated, but it's a warm clip. I can do a warm clip. It's, it's not that. Frame locks, you know, they're very common, so there's nothing special about that too. And even in that knife, that frame lock would uh, slip and, and unlock. But it was the rest of the knife, the, the strider aspects, those screws, and those are the things that you really, I feel, make that a unique product. You know, like you take, for example, Warren Thomas or something, the all-titanium construction and the, uh, the the minimal screws is actually a flaw because it allows uh, bending and twisting and, and giving in so many different directions and the lock bar slides in. You know, it, it causes premature wear. Um, you know, it's those kind of things. So when you look at the zero tolerance knife, it's not at the level of a hinder. It's definitely not. For those who, who use a hinder and then use this, there are a lot of small things in the craftsmanship of the hinder. It's more solid. Uh, it's more leaning towards a custom knife, even though it's mid tech, which you know really kind of you know that's mid tech to me basically the same thing as production because some very skilled individual in the factory still built this knife, and so they're just as good as many knife makers out there. The lockup is still definitely uh, pretty good in that sense. I mean, look, that star is pretty good. The lockup is definitely strong. It's a good solid frame lock. The up and down play... Mm, didn't increase. The lockup... Can you hear that? I mean, it's smooth, it doesn't fail. You know, in my testing, I don't think anyone ever knows, but I was uh, testing the small Sabenza. So the large Sabenza is a tank. Uh, and then you got, um, you got Strider SMF, better than the Strider SMG, and then you get the hinders, uh, you know, the three and a half inch, of course, that was strong. Never tested the three inch. Um, I'm assuming the, the XM24 was even stronger. Uh, so this one being kind of in between the size of a, a three and a half inch and a four inch hinder, you know, and also I guess a large Sebenza. Um, those knives are still more, those knives are still better constructed. Like I said, it's, it's a lot of the, the finish on this. I think a lot of the, the fine details that I would think would take more time and more attention, uh, that's what this knife lacks. Each time I do this test though, I think now this knife has gone through probably like more than 10, maybe close to 15 spine wax, and uh, that's really good. For how that's locking up, that's better than Strider. That's better than uh, a lot of knives. That knocking back and forth, um, that's again, that's where then the tolerance is. Uh, where the the precision uh, in terms of where things give and how tight everything's made That's where I think if you were to get something like a Sebenza, that's where you get that craftsmanship and on this one you get close enough um, but definitely Strong built knife uh, Just got lock rock, but even then it's minimal and it doesn't even increase much 
as I keep doing this test and re-recording it, um, this is the third time now recording it, and that's all you got. Just a little bit of noise. Uh, you can feel it a little bit, but it doesn't fail. Um, look, the lockup isn't changing dramatically at all. It's not wearing much at all. Here's the thing, if even if I push the lock bar in, listen. See, so it's not that. It's something else that's that's kind of giving, and uh, it's. I think it's tapping back here. I think it's just somewhere in there that this tension or the design of this, perhaps, it's moving around a little bit. That's just a guess. Overall, I think Zero Tolerance uh, did a really good job on this knife. Definitely one of the toughest frame locks out there for this price. Me personally, I still like my XM18. Uh, that's the one I'm keeping. This one's going to a friend.